I've already moisturized my skin, um, but I'm gonna prep it for my makeup. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a um, serum. I'm using the illuminating serum from Joke Joke. I don't know what's the name of this brand. I got it at Sephora that looks like this. Serum, but it's so cute. Honestly, the packaging got me. It is like so adorable. It looks like that. The box. It came like this, and it's like a little glass bottle, illuminating serum. Oh, okay. Um, I guess the brand.
brush that looks like this, a flat shader brush. This is a large shader brush E60 from Sigma. First of all, I'm going to use the lightest color and I'm going to use that color to highlight my brow bone. Okay? Because this is, I'm going to do this first because if I use other colors, I don't want those other colors to interfere with that highlight color. So I'm going to place that color right here first of all and then I'm going to go in and blend it but I'll do that in a minute. I just want to make sure I get this covered.
coverage foundations because um, of the coverage. I just know that I have to properly prep my skin for that particular foundation. Um, if I want my face to look beautiful and flawless without looking cakey, again, guys, it's all in the skin of prep. Look at that. Look how nicely that covers. And because I prep my skin according to my skin, it doesn't look, it doesn't leave it dry, even though it is full coverage and full coverage foundations do tend to be on the dry side. I'm going to grab whatever's left on my hand with the brush and I'm going to go in the areas that I want a little extra coverage. I love, I love, 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 love this, the, um, the, the tone range and this foundation line. I mean, they have so many, I think they have like 40 something or 30 something, um, tones, which I find mind blowing and amazing because like, you know, we come in all, uh, shades and tones and undertones. It's crazy. When you work on people, you realize, like, you think, you know, she's got similar skin tones and she does. And then when you go and match them with foundation, total opposite or, like, total difference. It's like, that's when you realize, like, wow, it's amazing. So when these companies come out with these, um, tones of foundation, I find it to be beautiful beautiful because they know you don't have six shades of fair or six shades of light or six shades of medium or six it's it's crazy how many different levels of different tones it's just crazy anyway guys i just want to show you how pretty this foundation is it's got a very very pretty finish and i love the tone I'm going to use my uh, Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm using Light Neutral. I'm going to put that in, as you already know, the inner corners of my face, just to give it a little bit of light. You already know I don't use concealers to really conceal. I use it more to right and I'm going to blend that in a triangle shape as you see me doing here Just 
such a pretty effect. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. Very, very pretty. Just those two colors combined give it a very
So guys, I put my lashes on and I let my hair loose. Alright, so I'm gonna move on to lips. I'm using the Anastasia. Thank you. 
Yes, um. 